our April 1st breaking ground might be May 1st now. Right. Right. And the hardest part with, with my portion of the job as an actual general contractor is running that schedule, backloading it, getting everything dialed in, adding your contingencies, running through the entire situation through pre-con, getting... Sorry, I just got... My new computer scared me. <laughs> Digging at me. <laughs> I'm awake. <laughs> um, but getting through the pre-con having that schedule set and then something else comes up and guess what you have to do because you have to have people ready to start the project. It's not just about keeping that schedule on paper. Those teams that we talked about earlier have to be ready to start on your date. So you need to get in contact with them. They have to be fully aware of your schedule as well. And then the worst part is something else comes up and the contingency gets blown out of the water. I got to call back to them the subcontractors and those teams and say, sorry, we're not ready and beg them to fit me in between two other projects because we're two weeks behind. Yeah. Can you start now? I know I've pushed you and your two week time frame to do this part of your project is now pushed back two weeks. I have to apologize and then beg them to come back. And that can happen 10 times on a project. And that's the worst part is you can't lose those guys for too long because that creates even further delays. And it's a vicious circle after that. So that's all part of it. And I think it's important, again, to keep tying this back to somebody attempting to do this besides people who are in the industry and the trades. This isn't like what Shane just described and what Casey's been talking about as he's experiencing isn't the shit that's happening to you, right? (laughs) This isn't like, I can't believe this thing has gone off the rail. No, this is what it looks like. What it is. This is the project. Right. It's I see people all the time. You haven't you never believe how just unlucky we've been. And then the framer like (laughs) had to like go and do it like, no, no, that is what happens. That is the project. That's what happens. It's not all of a sudden it's just happening to you. Right. And then, of course, you know, then my my uncle ended up getting sick and we had to No, we understand there was life happening while you're trying to do all of this. And the weather came in and we had the, I mean, it hasn't rained like that in April. I don't know why they all sound like that to me, but it hasn't rained like that in April in a decade. And of course, it happens when I'm trying to break ground. Like, no, that's nobody what else is building anything around. Right. You. It's just that, you. It's not what's happening to you. That's what happens on all projects.